Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of our Factorio video series. In this episode, we have several goals that we want to achieve. First, we aim to automate the production of red and green science packs, which will help us advance our research and unlock new technologies. Secondly, we need to defend our base against the alien attacks that are becoming more frequent and stronger. In preparation for the next episode, we plan to secure oil patches so that we can start producing blue science packs. We also want to expand our mall to produce more useful items for our factory. One of the main challenges we faced in this episode was our energy production. Our current setup consists of 5 boilers and 10 steam engines, giving us a total of 9 megawatts of power. This was not enough to sustain our growing factory, so we decided to expand our power production by a factor of 4. We now have 20 boilers and 40 steam engines, giving us a total of 36 megawatts of power. For red science pack production, I suggested using one assembler for iron gear wheels and two assemblers for red science packs. This is because iron gear wheels are a common ingredient in many early game recipes, so it's a good idea to have a steady supply of them. As for the two assemblers for red science packs, that's because each red science pack requires one iron gear wheel and one copper plate, and it takes a bit longer to craft than the gear wheels, so having two machines will ensure a steady supply of red science packs. For green science pack production, I also suggested using two assemblers. Green science packs require one inserter, one transport belt, and one electronic circuit, which are all ingredients that can be produced with the machines we already have automated. We can use one assembler for the electronic circuits and the other assembler for the inserters and transport belts. As for the science lab setup, I suggested using five labs in a row. This is because it's the most space efficient way to set up the labs, and it allows for easy insertion and removal of the science packs. As you may remember from the first episode, we set up a basic mall to produce the items we need to expand our factory. Now, we're expanding the mall itself to include new items, specifically assembling machines and mining drills. Assembling machines are incredibly useful for automating many aspects of the factory, and mining drills are necessary for expanding our resource collection. By adding them to the mall, we can ensure that we always have a steady supply of them without needing to set up new production lines every time we need more. Of course, as we expand the mall and produce more items, we'll need to make sure that our power production can keep up. That's why we've just expanded our power grid by multiplying it by 4, giving us a total of 36 megawatts of power. This should be plenty to keep everything running smoothly as we continue to expand our factory. As our factory has grown and expanded, we have started to attract the attention of the local inhabitants, the biters. These aggressive creatures will not hesitate to attack our structures and equipment, and can cause significant damage if left unchecked. As a result, we need to take steps to protect our base from their attacks, by setting up walls, gun turrets, and other defensive measures. In this episode, we will be focusing on building up our defenses to keep the biters at bay and ensure the continued operation of our factory. In order to protect the base against biters, we need to set up a strong defensive perimeter with walls and gun turrets. We should place the gun turrets behind the walls so that they have enough time to shoot at the enemies as they approach the base. It's also important to place the gun turrets strategically, covering as much ground as possible while minimizing overlap. Since we don't have access to laser turrets yet, we'll need to rely on gun turrets and ammo to defend the base. We should set up a few assemblers to produce ammo so that we don't run out during a big attack. It's also a good idea to place some radar stations around the base to monitor enemy movement and get an early warning if a large group of biters is approaching. Our brave engineer human ventured out to the northwest to deal with the biter nest that had been causing us so much trouble. Armed with only a machine gun and a few gun turrets, he faced off against the fierce biters. But engineer human was not deterred. He strategically placed his turrets and bravely fought off the waves of biters that came his way. With each wave defeated, he drew closer to the biter nest. Finally, 
After what seemed like an endless battle, Engineer Human emerged victorious. The biter nest was destroyed, and the area was secure once again. It was a truly heroic feat, and one that we will not soon forget. Thanks to Engineer Human's bravery and determination, our factory can continue to grow and thrive without the threat of biter attacks. Building the defense required a significant amount of effort and resources, but it was necessary to protect the base from the constant threat of biter attacks. Walls and gun turrets can form a formidable defense against enemy attacks. Walls can slow down the enemies and protect the turrets while they deal damage. With a well-designed defense system, players can keep their bases safe and secure from enemy attacks. And that's it for this episode of our Factorio series. We've achieved a lot in this episode, including automating both red and green science packs, defending the base against spiders with walls and gun turrets, securing oil patches for our future blue science research, and expanding the mall to produce more useful items for our factory. We also learned a lot about how to optimize our production lines and defend our base against the biters. And let's not forget the heroic tale of Engineer Human, who went out and destroyed the dangerous spider nest in the northwest, armed with only his trusty machine gun and a few gun turrets. Of course, there's still a lot more to do in our factory. We need to continue researching new technologies, expand our power production, and improve our defenses. But for now, we'll take a break and continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh boy.